Now then, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, currently Saturday morning. Something stupid like minus two. It's freezing. Just got to my first job of the day. This is one I looked at yesterday afternoon. Uh, intermittent fault, east not fault. Now, what I got it down to was, you got the butter station on the bin lift, the loom comes across the bin lift, and then it goes up into the control box. Um, Intermittently throwing the emergency stop fault up. Got it to work. Bagging all that loom and twisting loom. Um, so I think it's got a broken wire in that. So I've come back this morning, got some wire, 18 core wire, I'm going to run in. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, jobs are good. Em. And then I've got one wheel lighting fault to do. And then after that, I've got one at Salford. That's got a light out as well to go and do. So it's nice and steady for a Saturday. However, However, we have an issue. I've got to site this morning for 8 a.m. And the gentleman in the office is sat in his car. He has no keys for the office. And the vehicle keys are currently in the office. The lifter is in the up position and I need to ideally pull it to the down position. Well, no, I have to pull it to the down position because I can't get to the control box otherwise. So what I'll do, I've done everything I can do for now. Uh, he left about 10, 15 minutes ago to go meet a driver who's got a set of keys to get into the office. Oh, what a pantomime. What an absolute pantomime. So what I'll do, I'll just show you now what I've done and where I'm up to. And then uh, I'll have to wait for these keys to come because I can't do much else. So let's go and have a look. Right, that's what I've done. I've managed to get up on the ladders, take the button station off here, unclipped all the wiring. The button station is now here on the floor and that loom runs up along the top of the lifter and into this box here. However, I can't get them screws out. So, so for the minute, I'm at a standstill now because I've done as much as I can do really. Um, ideally I need the lifter down there, I can route the wiring and everything else. I'm just going to get a little stubby screwdriver, see if I can get them out, and then at least I can start uh, putting the new loom in. So, that's what we're up to. Now the problem I've got with that is, ideally I'd like to make sure it's operating before I take that out of that loom, because I don't want to take it out and then I've still got the same fault, and I don't know what I've done. Oh, I don't know why it's still faulting. Uh, so basically, that, that's what I want to do. But I'm going to see if I can get that cover off first and then take it from there. I think that's the plan. Right, so what I've done, I've took that cover off that one there. I don't ride it big it before. I'm going to be defeatist moment. But that's gone now. So I can get into everything now. We can crack on with this rewire. And I don't really need to wait for the keys to come. Uh, yeah, I can get on and get the job done. Happy days. Right, so what I've done, bottom box off, and basically I've cut the loom there. So what I'll do now, get the new piece of wire, wire into the bottom box, and then up into that other box at the back. But on closer inspection, the wiring loom's actually split here. So there'll be broken wiring that somewhere that's as the lifter's coming up and down, that's what's causing it to uh fault so yeah i'm glad i went for that one i'd say that that there will be the fault so so what i'll do now i'll wire that in and then take it to the truck and wire it into that little box at the back and fingers crossed it should be all right i did one of these the other day as well if you look on my instagram you'll see uh, pictures of that the driver backed into something and cut right through the loom cut it in clean in half so it's not a five minute job to wire these in. It took me a couple of hours all the day to do it. So what we'll do, probably time lapse it actually. So I'll get my camera set up, we'll get it on time lapse and we'll get this new loom thrown on. Let's crack on. Passport no, no return, baby, on the summer night. Shot of love and a spark of love to be 
starts to lighten and the month times nine burn like the ground out of leaves. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on, let's ride this train. In my song I'm gonna pull my weight Don't get me wrong Brand new start And a whole new part They are big old shoes to fill I'll be there on that platform Babe, you know I will Come on Two short time lapse there. That's that box now weighed up. So what I'll do, I'll fit the box to the lifter, run the loom across the bike up to the control box, and then start again, wiring it all into that one. So we'll time lapse that again. If it's not a five minute job, and you'll probably get a bit boring watching it if it's went on time lapse. Put me super the rat on street. So yeah, that's the next job now. Get that wired in fingers crossed that should be it but looking at that loom that I've took off I just delved a bit more into it it's actually rat damage it's little teeth marks in it I'll show you in a minute but it's got little uh, munchy marks in it so obviously why he's been earthing out or shorting out each other and that'll explain why it's uh, intermittently through an e-stop fault up so that loom we're opening is going like that the wires are touching not touching so yeah so right Let's go and get it on the uh, truck and crack on. Right, so... That's all wiring clipped in now. All the way up, all the way over. Let's just put that bit in that box there. So what I'll do, I'll clip it in all the way up, all the way around, curl it in, and then cut it and join it in there. Dead easy, he says. Um, now, I would have put conduit on that, but the conduit we've got's no good. And uh, so what I'll do, when the truck comes in for service next time, I just put out job card, or I recommend not job card that they just clip some conduit over it. It's not a big job to do. And then fingers crossed, when we've weighed it in, it all works right. It's still cold. In fact, it's still freezing. It's still about minus two. So yeah, we're going to get that done, eh? So that's rewired so moment of truth time now let's see if it uh, if it works That's a good start.
right, well I'm happy with that. So what we'll do now, we'll work it, make sure it don't fault again, and then uh, we shall button it all back up. Now, I have noticed I'm gonna start up with a dip beam fault on dash. When I looked, the near side headlights out. So I'll throw a bulb in that as well while I'm here. But I'll just show you how cold it still is. Now that is cold. Video, then we've worked that for a while. I'm happy with that. Just box it all up now, covers back on, tested it again, make sure it's right. Headlight bulb in it, side marker light on this one to do. Then Salford's change one. Happy days. Can't beat a good Saturday shift. Right, so let's have a look at this uh, headlight bulb. Makes it a bit easier to get under that. Good. Broken. Oh then, let's see. There we go. All you do is just unclip it here like that and then twist that out and there's a bulb let's go get one for it h1 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 there we go h1 bulb whatever you do don't touch that element with your fingers because the grease off your fingers will cause it to blow so that into there like so and then we sit this little clip here which i probably got on wrong way around to start with oh no maybe not that's it that little clip sits there like that so we'll try it Headlight, headlight, headlight. Right, on to it next. <laughs> so that'll do, won't it? Nice little wiring repair there. I hate that contract, I can never get wiring buddy back inside it. You watch our electricians in workshop and they flick wiring in it like you won't believe. They make it look so simple when they put that wire in that conduit. I can never do it. Never been able to do it. And then one of them said, oh, just get a screwdriver or please your grips and just slide it in and slide wire at the same time. No, I stabbed myself at the last time I tried doing that. Anyway, right. So that's that rear wire done. That's that marker light fixed. Now shoot Salford and have a look at the lighting fault over there. Last job of the day. Side light out. On the side. Little bulb there. So, let's see if I can get myself under there. So, what I've done there is pulled the headlight bulb out, and then you twist this bit, and it should come out in theory. For some reason, it won't want to. And there it is. Shut in. Pull the old one out. Uh. 
new bulb bit. There we go. Made that look hard work, didn't I? I'll tell you something though, it is hard work recording and changing the bulb at the same time. Watch what you're doing, just to be fair. But anyway. That's it. So we shove the headlight bulb back in. That's it. Job done. Sorry, nice little job for uh, last job it did. That's working. That's working. Happy days. Right then. Turn that off. The jobs are good. Em. Yep, that'll do. Hey right, guys, so that's it for a Saturday. One time. I'm a bit, uh, a bit behind with my videos at the minute uh, due to a week's holiday and one thing or another and then uh, my first week back I spent most of the week in workshop if anyone remembers that engine that I set the top end up on put that back in uh, I said put it back in let's see if this fob works on this gate yep gate's on me uh, put the engine back the engine was already in sorry wired it up piped it up did whatever we ate road tested it, everything else that's all done so I didn't really video that because it was hard work to video that in the workshop uh, we had a fabrication Fabricator, so not fabrication, fabricator in the workshop when I was doing it. And uh, fabricators like to make us a lot of noise with grinders, don't they? So, yeah. Which uh, is what it is. So, I'll do. I'll wrap this up now. I'll get home, get it edited, and get it out. And then hopefully, we should be back to normal with our videos. Now, Monday's job is Edinburgh. We have a truck up there that's got engine malfunction on. Now the company up there who usually maintains that truck haven't got time to look at it. So I'm gonna to have to go up and have a quick look at it, otherwise they'll be doing that job. And that's about it really. Um, I just wanna mention, I had a message of the day off uh, on Instagram off a YouTuber called Bin and Chill. So if you haven't checked their channel out, check it out. Thanks for your nice messages. Um, and watch this space. We might have some collaboration coming up towards Christmas, which will be good. So, yeah, and uh, that's about it, really. Oh, and uh, if anyone's interested in a job, we are currently looking for a fabricator and mechanic at Charlie. So, if anyone's interested in that, check out the website. I'll put the link below and uh, what have you. And the job description should be on there somewhere or i'll check out I'll, I'll put a link onto it anyway i'm waffling now so it's time to wrap it up in it if you know what i mean so yeah ah the other thing i have good news well i say good news i have some news um cp davison's is now part of the kershoff group which owns found zola CMAT and a massive list of companies so we've now integrated with them so we're now part of the Kershoff group so I don't know if anyone's noticed or not anybody with BDI might have noticed uh, on my t-shirts now it's got Kershoff group wrote underneath CPD so yeah anyway that's that bit of news right so yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to wrap this up now I'll see you a lot in Edinburgh and uh have a good weekend, and as ever, look after yourselves.